Hey guys. All right, I'm gonna sit if we don't mind. It's getting late in the conference. Um, before we start, has, has anyone here, and I hope I could even see you guys, the lights are pretty bright. Has anyone here launched an NFT project before or tried to, attempted to? Anyone get far? Yeah, anyone not get far? <laughs> where, uh, where were the issues? You're raising your hand over there. What was, what was difficult for you? Yeah, that, that's usually what we hear. We, we talk to a, a lot of brands, um, NFT projects that are, are building in the space, uh, and marketing seems to be... What's that? Okay, whitelisting. Um, yeah, so anyway, a little bit about me. I'm the founder and CEO of a Web3-focused marketing agency um, called Coinbounds. We are a lean, intimate, but powerful 20-person agency um, we've had the pleasure of working with some awesome brands over the years, brands like MetaMask, uh, Cosmos, Litecoin, Voyager, eToro, Nexo, um, on the NFT side of things, Jenner of Dungeons, um, Wilder World, um, Gods Unchained, um, just to name like 20 of them. Um, and I'm also the host of a pod podcast called the Crypto Marketing Podcast, where every week we, we break down just like hot topics in what people want to know about marketing in the Web3 space, because there really is no playbook. So, so we've kind of been trying to write it. Um, so last year, our focus has shifted largely to NFTs as, as the focus. We, we've been around for a while, so we've seen kind of the waves of everything that goes on in crypto. We've seen, you know, in 2017, the ICO boom. Um, 2020 came around, and we were working with a lot of DeFi protocols um, and exchanges. And then 2021, and then 2022 came around. Uh, and NFTs are really kind of the hot item, which everyone here knows. Um, so in that time, we've definitely learned a lot about uh, marketing and what it takes to successfully find an audience and then target them. Um, so I want to discuss some of that today. Um, so things we're going to cover, um, how to identify your audience, how to reach that audience, um, top uh, channels and tactics for NFT marketing, um, and then we'll follow up with some ways to, where to focus your resources when your resources are thin or limited like a lot of people um, have when they start their NFT project. Um, all right, so identifying your audience. So first, before spending any money, you should definitely spend some time just kind of asking yourself, what are your goals um, and who do I need to reach to accomplish those goals? So, you know, are you trying to sell out a project? Are you just trying to launch a club that has an NFT as like, uh, like a component that excites people? Um, and then who is it that's actually going to be interested in, in buying this? Because um, marketing is largely about communicating the exchange of value. Like I give you X, uh, you, you give me X, I give you Y. So in the example of Board Ape Yacht Club, um, you, know, you buy an NFT, I give you a digital asset that you can show off to your friends and impress them, um, especially if you bought it lately when it's like six figures to do so. Um, LinksDAO is a DAO I am part of. Um, in that example, it's you know, buy an NFT again, uh, and they get access to a group of guys that just love golfing, um, and there's a, a kind of cool professional networking component to that as well. Um, and then 11 Miami, which is the largest, I believe the largest nightclub in Miami, they recently did an NFT launch that we helped them with, um, and their kind of value exchange was buy this NFT, and then when you come into the club, you get treated just like a total boss, like sparklers and uh, bottle service, and I don't know, I'm not a nightclub person. Um, but to identify the audience that you're going to be going after, you have to identify the value that you add to them first. Um, so you ask yourself, are you a profile picture project? Are you um, offering in-person or um, online uh, networking events, things like that? Um, are you based around a specific set of values or uh, interests? Um, and doing all those things will help you ask yourself, like, why would someone buy this? And, and that's really where your head should be at when, before you do anything with marketing. You'll save tons of time and, more importantly, tons of money if you, say, if you spend some time rather than just blasting it out to everyone. Um, so a kind of helpful tip that we like to do, and this isn't necessarily a Web3 trick. This is a Web2 marketing trick, which is just build out a buyer persona. So a buyer persona, for those that don't know, is basically like a sample avatar of a person, and you actually give them a name, typically, um, with like demographic data, like what they're into, all that stuff. Um, and it helps you kind of put yourself in the mindset of who is going to actually um, be on that list of people that you're targeting. Um, so, like, for example, I might say, like, John is a 25-year-old. He lives in Long Island. 
Um, he works in Manhattan in finance, whatever. He makes 150K. That stuff doesn't matter so much. Um, and then every morning, John takes the Long Island Railroad to uh, the city where he gets his crypto news on Twitter, um, as well as just like you know Google News, let's say. Um, so knowing that information, you can kind of start reverse engineering the different marketing channels that you want to play around with. Um, so you can start asking yourself things like, you know, can I advertise my NFT project on the Long Island Railroad? Yeah, the answer is yes, actually. Um, I've spoken with them recently, and that's, I, I was kind of surprised by that. Um, can you run Twitter ads uh, for your NFT project? The answer is also yes. Um, can I reach out to an influencer that John follows and get them to talk about my NFT project? Again, something you can do. Um, and you get, that's just kind of like a, a good way to like frame your mindset when, when doing marketing. Um, so let's go into, and, and, and a lot of people, the, the pushback that we get on that when we recommend that to people is, um, but John's just one person. And the answer is John's not one person. Like, humans are not that unique. Like a lot of people are very similar. Um, there's thousands of Johns, or maybe even tens of thousands. There's enough to sell at an NFT collection to, to targeting John. Um, all right, so top channels and tactics for NFT marketing. So um, Discord is huge, obviously. I think most people here know what Discord is. It's the home for online communities for NFT projects. Um, it is where people talk and engage, and it's just where the online community lives, essentially online. Um, it's really important to have that you know, keyed in regarding well set up with the right servers, uh, sorry, right channels, right bots, right um, roles, um, and then get it well moderated. So it could be you know, your team in the beginning, but eventually you want to get to someone that's like outsourced or lower level so you can focus on more high level things, um, but someone that keeps people engaged, does AMAs, FAQs, polls, stuff like that. Um, Next option that a lot of people don't really know about is the collaboration component to NFT marketing. Um, whatever stage you're in, and if you're, especially if you're in the early stages of NFTs, of an NFT launch, um, there are people that are just slightly ahead of you that have maybe successfully launched their NFT, you know, sold out or just sold some, and they have a community now that they have sort of an obligation to provide value to. Um, so you can reach out to them and say, hey, I have whitelist spots. Um, would you be interested in sharing that with your community? And the answer, surprisingly enough, is, is yes, or like just give me a couple hundred bucks for it. Um, and you get free marketing or cheap marketing, and they get a, a form of value they could add to their community. So that, that's another kind of thing we're seeing a lot of. Um, earned media, earned media is just kind of you know, PR. It works well for NFT projects if you have something unique at least, um, or at least can communicate what you do in a unique way. Um, you can work with an agency like, you know, like us, not to plug myself, but you know, marketer is gonna market. Um, and we can definitely help uh, with the crafting of a pitch and getting it to the right people. Um, when it comes to focusing resources, especially early on, because you don't have an unlimited budget like you know, some massive brands typically do, um, there's kind of two buckets that I break it down to. One is the community, and the other part is feeding the community. So the community, like I said, is Discord. Um, you want to get it set up again in, in the most like, kind of industry standard, industry best practice way. Um, and then definitely focus most there because it's free also. Uh, you know, a moderator also is like maybe a thousand bucks a month um, if you want to offload that. And it's going to be important for the stickiness of any marketing that you do for NFTs. Because uh, what I'll get to next is basically the next stage of NFT marketing when you're limited on resources is to get people into your Discord. Because again, your Discord's free to you to run. Um, and you can be successful with just Discord. Like people will buy an NFT just because the Discord is awesome and they have people, they have friends that are in it. Um, so that's something that I always recommend focusing on um, early. Um, and then the next part is feeding the community. So feeding the community, I basically just mean external like marketing type things that get people into Discord. Things like you know, Times Square billboards, for example, we see a lot of when we walk outside. Um, things like Twitter ads, like I mentioned, um, earns media, really anything outside of that, all in my opinion should be focused on, disc or on getting people into Discord, because that's where you can engage with people like forever, basically. Um, and again, a lot where the value is. Uh, you can pay influencers as well. We see a lot of that. Um, and this is where a lot of money can be spent if you do it incorrectly. So what we recommend, which is kind of just common knowledge for marketing a, a new product, is um, try a lot of different things first with a small budget, collect the data and get all your analytics, and double down on what works and cut what doesn't. And just keep doing that over time. Keep adding new options, keep cutting what doesn't work, keep adding what does work, uh, and eventually you have, you know, assuming you got your Discord done, um, you've covered both those two buckets for a pretty inexpensive amount, or at least a budget conscious amount. Um, so, I mean, I'm coming up on time now, so I'm gonna wrap things up. Um, if you're interested in working with an agency like Coinbound, just reach out to us. Coinbound.io is the website. Um, I'm also pretty active on Twitter. It's at Ty Daniel Smith. 
Um, I try to be uh, responsive to DMs and, and things like that. Um, but that's it. I, well, right on the dot. All right, thank you guys.